Hello everyone, I am Basit and today we are going to learn about how to create login authentication using React.js. So this will be a very short video series where we will first take a look at how we can design a simple login form with the help of Mutated UI. And then after that we will learn how we can make an API call and then the last video will be about how to create protected routes so only the login users will be able to see our protected pages that we will create in the future. So let's get started. So the first thing that you must have is to install the react.js as we can see I just installed fresh react.js app and now the next thing is we need to install material UI. So I am here on the main page of the material UI official website. So here we can see the command from where we can install material UI. So I just need to copy this command line and then open up our VS code. I am using VS code editor. It depends on you whatever you want to use so make sure you open your terminal and then open up your website the folder main directory and then paste the command line and then hit enter so it will take a few seconds it depends on your internet connection so after the successful installation of material UI npm packages you will see those names inside your package.json dependencies so the packages are being downloading so successful download we can now see material UI inside our dependencies so now the next step is like so now the next step is to create our component so we need to <coughs> open up our SRC folder so I'm going to create components folder and then inside that I need to create login component where, where we will design our login page so let me close this terminal first so now in order to create our component basic structure I am using one of the VS code ext extension called react.js code snippets so all I need is to type rsc which is full form of uh, react stateless component so just press tab and then here we can see our ready-made code so for now I'm just typing login form to see if we can see something on the browser but now if I will open up our browser we will see nothing so we need to add our login component inside our so I'm going to delete this code and just type your component name and then press tab so the VS code will automatically import that component for you so now press Control S and now we'll be able to see our login form on our browser. So now the next step is to use material UI component. So just click on get started and from here we can see inside the getting started tab we have all the information about the material UI installation, usage, example projects etc. But we don't need this for now because we already installed the material UI. So the next thing we need to open up the components tab and from here we can see a lot of ready-made components we can use any it depends on our requirement but for now we need to create a basic structure of our login page so I need to use the container component so click on react container and from here we can see how we can use the container component. So all I need is to either copy this or go to our VS code and inside the login component I'm gonna type container and the VS code will give me some suggestions so just press tab and and will um, uh, import it for us automatically. So now we need to pass few props to our com uh, components but the question is how do we know that what component is accepting which type of props so in order to do that inside each react component we will have an options at the end called api so if we click on api it will redirect us to the api api uh, folder of that specific component so here we can see that what kind of props that specific component is accepting so here we can see classes which is an object and then component and then fix the and we can see the props type over here so we need to pass the max width props so just type max width equal to 
SM which is stand for small device and then the next step we need to import one another component called grid so here it is these are mostly used to structure our layout so with the help of grid we can create multiple columns so all I need is to copy this entire and paste it inside the container component now we need to import the grid component first so press tab again and here we can see uh, VS Code I automatically import it for us but as I can see that it imported the container from the wrong part of the material UI so we just need to paste it over here and comma so now the next thing is we need to remove all of these and then we need to pass few uh, props to our grid component which is container spacing and then we need to pass direction which will be column because I don't want the input fields to be appear side by side so it will be column and then justify content and the center I want everything to be in the center of and then style I want my container grid to be appear as full screen so minimum height so now inside the grid if I will open up the browser we will see nothing because we have not yet imported anything to see on the screen so now the next thing we need to I want my login form to be inside a box shadow so for that I am going to use uh, one of the component called paper so just click on the paper and hit and see how the basic paper will look like so let me go to the VS code and inside the grid we need to write paper as always import it some padding and inside the paper we need to create another grid if I save this still we will not be able to see anything but now yes we can see a back shadow which is right in the center of the screen so next thing we need to create another grid And we need to pass some props container and direction will be column and then spacing will be like two and inside this grid now we can use our uh, input fields so in order to use input fields let's open up the material UI and go to the top and here we can see text field and from here we can select multiple text and there are multiple designs we can choose from so this is how we can uh, write the text input fields so next thing is let me correct this and inside this we need to write text Field and we need to pass and then yes it will be a full width and then label will be like enter your email and then placeholder will be email address you can put anything it depends on you and then variant will be outline and and yes that's it so now if i go to the browser we will see our input field 
and this is enter your email this is our label and the email address is our placeholder now we need to create the same for the password as well so we just need to copy this create item and paste it down below you just need to change few things type password and label will be like password password here as well save and we refresh the page here we can see our password and email both of the fields are appearing so now the next thing is we need to create our button so we just need to copy this remove the text field and for the button we will need button component just open up this button and there are several designs we can pick one from and here we can see variant is text so this is how text looks like and this is the content and this is outline so we need to use the content variant so just copy this and paste it over here and now variant is content and the text will be like sign in Control S and now if we refresh okay we didn't empower the button yet so let's go to the top and right button over here now we can see our sign in button but we need to make this button full width so we just need to pass a boolean called full width and that's it so our login form is now looks a bit good so now as it's a password field so we need to add some icon we will add an icon over here to show our hide our password that will look a bit good uh, so in order to do that we will have to use another props called input props so we can go to the text field at the top right here so now if we scroll down we will see passwords right here so we can type our password over here and if we click an i button our password will appear so in order to achieve that just click on this and here we can see the sample code so we'll have to use input props uh, right over here so let's type that code so inside the text field just type input props and it's an object so inside that inside this we now need to import this and we will have to pass some props like position and the position will be in we want to the icon at the end of our input field right over here so that's why we have to type in so inside this component we need to pass icon that we want to display so we can type icon button and then inside that we can type area label we can name it toggle password or anything and then edge that will be in so inside that we can now we'll have to use uh, react hooks to show hide our uh, password and display specific button let's suppose if our password is hidden we'll have to use different icon so in order to use that we will have to install our button component from material ui and uh, if we will open the material ui official website and scroll down and let's search for icons and here we have material icons there are thousands of icons inside this so but before that we need to install material icons so just copy this command line and go to your terminal and paste the command line and press enter For material icons the next thing that we need is to import our buttons 
and in order to do that so let's open up the material icons scroll down to material icons tab and from here we can choose different icons we need a visibility icon that's it so just click on that and copy this go to the vs code and import it over here uh, and copy this or uh, paste it over here now if you will save the code and go to the browser definitely you will see something so input ok this one is not defined so we need to import this as well so just copy this and go to here and paste it over here for s ok so now we can see our uh, icon is appearing but it's not working so we need to make this work so in order to do that it's time to use react folks so right over do that so i have a uh, show password uh, hook so i need to actually replace this because in the future we will uh, also create hook for the email and password so just replace this to values and then set values and it will be an object inside this we can use email which can be empty by default and password will be empty as well and then show password will be false by default so now we need to manage this so now we need to create one a function to handle the password visibility so it will be const handle pass visibility you can name it anything so so here when someone will click on that i i i icon button so when someone will click on that password show and hide button we will call this function inside this we need to set our values and inside that we need to update our show password and with the help of spread updater we because we don't want to affect the rest of the data which is email and password and then the show pass will be values dot show pass if inside the show pass will be false it will be the reciprocal of that so just save this and now we need to call this function so whenever someone will click on this button we will call this on click it will be a handle visibility so now if we go to the browser it says show password actually you need to make this show pass not show pass values dot show pass fresh and go to the browser and now let's type something and click okay but we need to change the uh, field type as well so in order to change the input fields we will take help from the hook and let's suppose over here the type is password we need to change this as well so if values dot show pass true we need to display text as password Control S and go to the browser and now if I click on this we can see we can switch the input type of our field. So this is how we can design uh, login forms with the help of material UI. So in the next video we will see how we can make this form um, functional so we will call API we will use a public API so in the next video we will see that so if you like the video please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our channel thank you see you in the next video